This is K-World Now News, your one and only news source for all things Korean culture. Here are this week's top stories. As of November 28th, Blackpink is the first artist to surpass 70 million subscribers on YouTube. The group achieved this record just five years and five months after their YouTube channel was made. Footage from girl group Mamamoo's solo concert is now showing in select CGV theaters in Korea. Mamamoo WAW Concert the Movie shows scenes of the group's solo concert from August. BTS will not be attending MAMA due to the new mandatory 10-day quarantine for all arrivals that was announced last Friday. The group has recently completed their Permission to Dance concert in Los Angeles last week. Park Hyung-shik and Han So-hee will star in a new romance series, Soundtrack No. 1, set to air next year. The series will be a music romance drama about a man and a woman who have been friends for 20 years. Gong Yi launched his personal Instagram account earlier this month. He reached just 1 million followers within a day. He will star in a new Netflix series called The Silent Sea on December 24th. Squid Game is the first Korean drama to be awarded at the U.S. Gotham Awards. Squid Game won in the category Breakthrough Series. Actors Lee Jung-jae and Jung Ho-yeon were present along with the director Hwang Dong-hyuk and the production company CEO Kim Ji-yeon. Lee Jung-jae was also nominated for Outstanding Performance in a New Series. On December 2nd, the 2021 Asia Artist Awards was held at KBS Arena Hall with Super Juniors Lee Tuk and Ives Jang Won Young as hosts. Some notable Daesung winners included BTS, Lee Jung-jae, Stray Kids, NCT, ESPA, and Seventeen. The annual Seoul Lantern Festival was held for 10 days at Cheonggye Stream. Lanterns made from mostly paper were displayed along a 700-meter section of Cheonggye Stream. Many of the lanterns were forest-themed, which sent messages of comfort to citizens weary from the prolonged pandemic. And that's it for this week's news. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow us on our other socials for more K-Culture content.